Welcome to Panther Sports Talk. The UNI school year has officially kicked off and we're sitting down with UNI Athletic Director David Harris, the volleyball team practicing behind us here in the McLeod Center. And a new year, a fresh start. It feels a little bit different than where we were last year at this time. Why are you excited for the opportunities in front of your staff and, and these student athletes here in 2021? I'm excited because it feels a lot different than it did last year at this time, just listening uh, to the sounds behind us or the volleyball student athletes practicing makes me remember that last year at this time, we didn't have fall sports. We had just made the decision that we were moving the fall sports to the spring. So it was a relatively quiet fall for us. And we managed through it okay, but we certainly miss sports. We miss football, we miss soccer, we miss volleyball, we miss cross country. And we're happy to have those sports back this year. We're excited to have a chance to see them compete. Uh, we had an all staff meeting earlier today. And one of the things I told our staff is, to just cherish these opportunities. We have a chance to be a part of memories that are being created by these student athletes and our fans. And not everybody has a chance to be able to do it. And so when you have a chance to be a part of the journey of young people going through college, experiencing athletics, hopefully experiencing success, that's a privilege. So I'm excited every time it has a chance to come around. Every time we start a new year, every time that there's energy about approaching the new year, it's an exciting time of year for all of us. Like to get your thoughts on these fall sports. Football opens up at top 10 Iowa State, but returns a huge nucleus. What are your thoughts on this football team this year? I'm looking forward to watching us play. I know that this past spring, we didn't have the kind of season that we wanted to have, but we're bringing back so many talented players. It's going to be special to me to have a chance to be able to watch it. I expect us to have a good season. We certainly have a tough test right out of the gate going to Ames, playing against the top 10 opponents. So that'll be a big challenge for us right away. But I feel confident in our coaches and our student athletes. I know they always play hard. I know they always go out to win. We have a lot of talented players and I'm looking forward to watching the game. Soccer has a new facility. It's on campus. I know Coach Bruce Erickson's excited for that. We are all excited about it. For those who haven't had a chance to go to it, it's a beautiful facility right here on campus, which was something that we wanted to do. Uh, it was important for us because we felt like having the chance to have it on campus, we'd have students to be able to come to the games. And we saw that in our game just this past Sunday where students came out really got into the game and cheered what was going on. And we believe that makes a difference for our student athletes. So we're really excited to be able to open up that field, to be able to have a great place, to have a beautiful facility, and just look forward to competing there throughout the fall. Volleyball is led by the best coach in the country, Panther alum Bobby Peterson, and uh, expectations are high for her. I know uh, dealing with some adversity with a quick turnaround playing in the spring and now the fall. Sure, our, our fall sports are in that position where Playing two seasons in one year is going to be challenging, but you're right. We're fortunate. We have something that other programs don't have, and that's the best coach in the country. There's a reason that she's all-time winning as coach in the history of the conference, and that's because she does a great job of getting our team ready, challenging them during the preseason to get them ready for the conference season, and we know that she'll do the same thing this year. In track and field and cross country, you know, the winning some uh, indoor, outdoor conference championships, not all those athletes are on the cross country team, but that's the big start of the running program. It really is, and it just gets you excited about the start of track and field season. We know it's a little bit different, but you're right. We've had so much success in track and field, and some of those student athletes do transfer over. So we look forward to watching them compete. They know We know they're going to compete hard. We know that they're well coached. Speaking of great coaches, Coach Paulson and his staff has done a great job, so we'll be anxious to see them compete as well. I know you've had a busy summer going out, meeting alums, and, and just getting the those relationships back uh, of the Big Panther supporters. Certainly, and part of our challenge has been maintaining those relationships when you're in a spot where you can't uh, connect in person. This summer gave us a chance to be able to do that, doing things like the Panther Caravan, where we can get out and go to some of our hot spots and talk with our people and say thank you for being Panthers and thank you for being patient and thank you for supporting us. So that was really a fun thing to have a chance to be able to do that, but mostly encourage them to come out to the games. We're gonna be at 100% capacity. We're expecting to see them in the arenas. We're looking forward to seeing them in the arenas and we're counting on their support and counting on them making places like this a tough place for our opponent. You couldn't come last fall, you can come this fall. Get your tickets, football, volleyball, all the sports as they are on sale right now. Back with more with David Harris inside the McLeod Center here on Panther Sports Talk.